Now I'm going to share with you a seed to plant dance. In the context of Jack and the beanstalk, we are going to grow into a beanstalk and measure by comparing. The seed to plant dance has many applications. The most obvious being, of course, a science component of the life cycle of a seed to plant. You can also grow into the setting of any story you want. You can grow into a forest, a jungle. It doesn't even have to be something that's living. You could grow into a snowman or a snowy day. Uh, it's just using your bodies to create the setting. You can also grow into something very big or very small, something very wide or something very narrow. It's a very flexible strategy that you can, in, that you can use to introduce and assess many concepts. Here we go. First, I'm going to ask you to make yourself small and curvy like a tiny seed. What is the first thing that I need to do if I'm going to plant a seed? I need to put you in the soil or the dirt. So I'm going to go around and pat the children on their backs. Plant, plant, plant the seeds. Watch the beanstalk grow. Merrily, 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 merrily. Watch the beanstalk grow. What is the second thing you need to do? First is plant the seeds. Second is, of course, we have to water the seeds. And in the classroom, I bring out my water bottle. And I sprinkle water in my hand and sprinkle the children with real water, which they love. And it makes this a multi-sensory experience. So, first we plant the seeds. Second, we water the seeds. Third, what comes up in the sky that warms the soil? That's right. It's the sun. And for the sun, I simply have a silk scarf. It could be any kind of material that I gently use to brush over the backs of the children to make it a sensory experience. And now we're ready to So the children are auditorily decoding the sound and understanding that that's their cue to grow. And then if you want to repeat the experience, for example, grow into a really tall beanstalk or now grow into a really short beanstalk. Once you've introduced the seed to plant dance, you can create a small group experience, for example, of three to five children, where you invite those children to grow into their beanstalks. You can measure their beanstalks with a piece of string. And then you can have the small groups lay the string down to put them in order from longest to shortest so that they're seriating as a group.